All right, folks, we're here at Sports World in Saugus, Massachusetts with the one and only legendary, the Russian nightmare, Nikita Koloff. Nikita, it's so great to have you here, brother, in Saugus today, signing for all the great fans here in Massachusetts. How do you like coming back to Massachusetts? I, I have but one word, Jetoita. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, it's been great. Uh, Phil has been the greatest host uh, that, I, that I could ask for here. And, of course, being here, meeting a lot of loyal wrestling fans as well as some, seems like, some real loyal fans to Sports World here as well or loyal customers. And so it's been amazing hearing some of their stories, some of your stories. Uh, that they, And that's what I love about these autograph signings is the opportunity to come out and, and hear – their favorite memory, maybe their favorite match, or you know, just uh, or how this you know opportunity takes them back to when they were 10, 11, 12 years old. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. That's so great, man. And we're so glad to have you here today. I want to ask you, Robbinsdale High School, such a famous high school. They should definitely do a documentary on it. So many of the great wrestlers have come from there. Tom Zink, the Road Warriors, uh, Barry Darso, Eric Bischoff, Mean Gene Oakland, Mr. Perfect, Rick Rude. These guys were your classmates? Tell us about that. W were you in there with them at certain – some of the guys, right? Well, yes. And, and some, some kind of get thrown in the mix because all the guys you just mentioned were from Minnesota. Yeah. Right. And uh, but not all of them were from uh, from Robinsdale High School. Okay. But you left out John Nord, the berserker. Yes. Yep. Uh, one of the lesser known was Brady Boone. Yes, Brady, uh, Boone. Brady yep. Boone. Vern Gagne was a graduate of Robinsdale High School. Now, maybe a couple decades before us. Yeah. Uh, and but mean Gene Oakland. And people have asked me over the years, what was it about Robinsdale High School, man? I'm like, well, it must have been the minerals in the water tower. I don't know, you know. But um, and none of us, none of us back in the day. So on the same football team, it was uh, Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning, Ravishing Rick Rude, Nikita Koloff, Barry Darso, and John Nord. We were all on the same high school football team. Wow. Everyone assumes we would have won state championships, but you also got to have coaching. So you can't just have great athletes. You have to have coaching, too. But I can assure you, none of us in those days, those high school days, entertain the idea of becoming a pro wrestler. Now, we knew that Kurt's dad was Larry the Axe Henning, but that's about as far as it went. That's very interesting that you say that, absolutely. Now, you have so many fans coming, you ask them about the memories. We're talking about the superpowers with Dusty Rhodes. We're talking about you with Uncle Live and Volk uh, Koloff. All these great moments. Is there one moment that stands out that's one of your favorite moments that, that it keeps coming back? If you had to pick one major one? Man, hard to narrow it down. One favorite memory or moment in pro wrestling? Wow. I mean, uh, I mean, certainly the early days with, with Uncle Ibon uh, are, are very memorable. Um, you know, winning the world tag team title with him, eventually the world six-man title. Of course, Barry Darso becoming Crusher Cruise Chef uh, and, and the, the, you know, the six-man belt. You know, the first uh, Great American Bash against the Nature Boy. Woo! Ric Flair, right? Yes. Um, is memorable. The very first war games. Yes. When yes. the superpowers... The Road Warriors with Precious Paul Ellering and against the, the Horsemen with J.J. Dillon. That was memorable, right? And then last but not least, the best of seven series against Magadie for the U.S. heavyweight title was incredibly memorable as well. Yeah, it's hard to pick one. Let me ask you. Um, have you ever been close to going to WWE? Were you ever in contact with any of them during the career? Was there ever, you know, think that you might be able to jump and fight Hogan or, or Randy Savage or the Ultimate Warrior? Was Nikita Koloff ever close to becoming a WWE superstar? I mean, never approached that I know of. Okay. Uh, you know, Vince and I met one time in a gym in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We were running a head-to-head -head competition that night mm -hmm. and had a very cordial conversation. Had, you know, not, not, nothing to do with any of that, just a cord cordial conversation. The, the only other time I really had a conversation with, with uh, Mr. McMahon was at Road Warrior Hawk's funeral. Okay. And so we talked there. I, I joke and say, you know, back in the days of the old uh, wall phones and phone recorders, you know, voicemail recorders, mm -hmm. yeah, if they left me a message, it must have accidentally got erased. Cause, uh, and, and, no, you know, I didn't entertain the idea or the thought of going to WWF at that time either because I was so loyal to Jim Crockett Promotions giving me my break with the NWA and later WCW. Uh, the only other conversation, I'll tell you real quick, that I had was with Barry Darso. 
And when Barry informed me that he was going to be leaving NWA and headed to New York to become demolition, you know, he gave me an invitation. And truthfully, I thought, you know, do I want to go and change characters at this point in my career? I've worked so hard on becoming the Russian nightmare. And uh, so I respectfully declined. I said, Barry, I appreciate the, the opportunity, but I'll, I'll have to pass on it. One of the awesome things that you're here, you're showing your books here, um, these great books yep. that you uh, people can get this online. Where, where can they find these books and your autobiographies sure. and stuff? Yep, so you can order the, the Wrestling With Success. Got the other one over there. and Grab one of those yep. uh, off the staff. Yep. Um, Show the fans here. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, Ring of Redemption is my life story, newly updated, actually. Wow, okay, like, okay. And uh, new chapters and, and some great photos. And the history of pro wrestling going back to the 1800s oh, wow. is also part of uh, uh, Ring of Redemption. And then Wrestling with Success is really just one's – that one's motivational and the other one's inspirational. But they go to koloff.net. Here's what they can do. They can go to koloff.net. It's one stop. They can order books and photos and all kinds of things, personally autographed by me. But they can also connect to the podcast, TV show, radio show, and all the social media right there at one stop, koloff.net. And you're, and you're doing the man, the man Up show right here. Folks can check it out right here. Uh, and you go to koloff.net and you can see everything on here. Now, you're talking to all the wrestlers. You're doing your podcast. You're doing the television show. How, how exciting is this to talk to the guys about the inner workings of the business, to relive your memories, and doing the Man Up show? Well, it's you know we launched it a couple of years ago, and the radio show, and then it evolved into a TV show, and so and there's a variety of conversations we have on there. Everything from from um, really what what people are doing in their life now to what they did back then. You know, from celebrities to athletes to businessmen and women. Um, Fortunate that the show uh, to date has been downloaded in in 76 different countries, mm -hmm. and so. Uh, seems to be a, a, a lot of interest to see what, what men are talking about. So a lot, just a lot of fun. Right. Awesome, brother. I want to thank you so much for your time today. It was such a complete honor. You don't know how it is. I've watched you your whole career. I know uh, my friend Victor, everybody here was such an honor to have you here today. We found about about an hour. We got ready and we came down here. This is your one time to see the Russian nightmare. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest of all time, the Russian nightmare, Nikita Koloff. Ah.